I'm a guitarist and your host for the day. I'm sitting here at the Procraft Experience Center in Mumbai, uh, and I'm really looking forward to trying out some cool new guitars. Since Adi is not here, I'm sort of going to be going over everything myself, and I'm going to do my best. Um, but basically, today I think we're going to go over Stridem guitars, and more specifically, uh, Stridem CST series and Stridem Les Paul guitars. Um, I think they're both super exciting. I'm trying them out for the first time and I'm looking forward to giving you some of my first impressions. Oh, that's the question. <laughs> when I was buying my guitar. Um, so when I was buying my first electric guitar, I was, I was a kid, I was 10 years old or 11 years old. And of course I took help from my teacher from back then. Um, and you know, we went to the store and we tried out a bunch of guitars and of course it's super exciting. But it's also super confusing um, because you might not necessarily know what's good or what's not good. Um, and so I sort of relied a lot on YouTube and reviews and uh, going online and reading people's comments and stuff like that. So I, as a guitarist, if anyone's watching this and wants like a review about a guitar, I totally get where you guys are coming from. I totally understand what a guitarist might want to know and might not want to know. And hopefully I can help you out. Um, and give you what you need to help you make an informed decision um, about choosing the right guitar. So the guitars we're going over today are Stridem X Magna guitars, or to be more specific, um, it's basically a collaboration between Stridem and Magna, which are two companies that have come together uh, to create these, these line of guitars uh, specifically for the Indian market. What's great about them is that it's uh, very good quality guitars um, at an affordable price range. So I think it's really worth looking into, um, uh, especially if you're a beginner to intermediate player looking to buy a great guitar that will last you a long time. Okay, this is actually my first time playing this guitar. Um, very nice, I actually like it. My first impressions is that it's nice and weighted. Um, most beginner to intermediate guitars aren't weighted, they're kind of light and they feel cheap. This definitely doesn't feel like that. Um, it's got a nice neck, not too narrow. I think it's C-shaped, um, which makes it nice and easy to play. Um, chords to play different voicings without getting your fingers too tied up together. Um, I'm able to sort of navigate very easily. Um, these are obviously just my very initial impressions. Um, of course I can see two humbuckers here. I'm on the on my neck pickup right now, my neck humbucker. But I think there are three different options. The neck humbucker, then there's both at the same time. Uh, neck and bridge and then there's the back humbucker so you just got a nice twangy tone you put some overdrive on this and I'm sure it'll sound great something like that that's pretty cool I love it um, and it's got a tremolo bar so I can do all sorts of nice... <laughs> Cut! <laughs> so to top it all off, it also has a tremolo bar. And so you can get those nice, sort of wavy...
that's pretty nice if you ask me. Okay, so let's maybe get a little more detailed and start exploring some of the guitar specs. So the first thing you notice about this guitar is this wonderful top. It's an arched flamed maple top. This is this really nice blue color. I think it comes in four colors. This is ocean flame. Um, it's a mahogany body, mahogany back and sides. The neck is also set in mahogany um, with a roseacre fingerboard. Nice simple white inlays. As I mentioned earlier, there are two pickups, two humbuckers, neck, middle and bridge. So a three-way pickup selection system. Um, volume knob and tone knob, pretty standard and a heavy-duty Wilkinson tremolo bridge system. We've got nice, sturdy, imperial tuning pegs, a graphite nut with a C-shaped neck. The guitar is fitted with a double-action truss rod and, which is great for a lot of players, we've got 24 frets for all of y'all who really want to go up there. You can go all the way up there for y'all. You know, some of you I know like to bend and really go high up there. So, that's really useful. And uh, the guitar comes in four very beautiful colors. Uh, this here is Ocean Flame, I mean it's beautiful isn't it? Uh, we've also got Paradise Flame, which is this. Um, super bright, super popping. It's got these stripes as well that you can notice. We've also got Black Cherry. And I think this one is called Black Flame. Uh, if you're more of a grunge guy or gal, um, <laughs> I think it looks really cool. As you can see, the guitar is really smooth. I'm able to slide super easily. No problems whatsoever, it's really all I could ask for. Um, playability is good, fingerboard is smooth, the neck is C-shaped with jumbo frets. It makes it really easy to go and play some of those wacky shapes. Because, uh, you know, there's plenty of space between my fingers to, nav to navigate. Um, all in all, honestly, this guitar feels great. It feels sturdy. I think it's for, you know, whether you're a beginner and it's your, it's your first guitar and you're looking to buy something long-lasting and sturdy, or even if you're an intermediate player and you want to upgrade one step, this guitar is definitely worth considering. Um, it just feels great and it plays great. It sounds great. It's, it's really nothing I can really fault about it. And, you know, if you're in Mumbai, then come check it out at the Experience Center. You know, yeah, I'm sure you'll be sold. This is a classic Les Paul shape, which uh, I'm sure every guitarist has seen. Most popularized by uh, world famous guitarist Slash. Uh, this shape is super iconic. Um, it's a shape that a lot of guitarists sort of want to play, um, and a lot of guitars want to own a Les Paul guitar. Um, and I feel like this, I mean, this is a great way to start. Uh, there's a lot to explore with this guitar, specifically when it comes to your the, the sheer number of options in terms of pickup and pickup combinations. You know, we've got two humbuckers, but each humbucker has a single coil option. You know, it's got a, 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 a switch which I can activate a single coil. And we've got a three-way selector. And so all in all, we have like seven different options for <laughs> pickup selectors. And we'll dive into each one of them. Um, uh, on top of that, the versatility and the sound of the Les Paul. I think it's an awesome guitar to start off with. Okay, I mean, first impressions, a Les Paul shaped guitar, a Les Paul style guitar, 
will always feel good in your hands at least for me it's so sturdy it's so solid um everything just feels really good it's the perfect guitar especially if you like playing rock that's why the song i just played was an alterbridge song one of my favorite bands um it's a rock band it's one of those guitars where you just want to rock out you know you just want to crank it up and <laughs> And uh, you just can't help yourself. It just feels that's what the guitar feels right for. I'm not saying it can't do softer stuff. Of course, you can activate a single coil and do all sorts of. So it's. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, it's got tons of uh, pickup options, and so it is versatile. But for me, a Les Paul reminds me of Slash, which reminds me of that classic rock sound. Um, and uh, if you like if you like classic rock or if you like that kind of sound this is definitely something worth exploring okay so we've got a mahogany body a nice pick guard over here um our neck is set in okume with a laurel fingerboard and a graphite nut we've got a classic trapezoid inlays you know very traditional to the les paul style um guitars so we can see our Magna logo here, our Stridum logo here. We've got Heritage Cluson style keys. The guitar is embedded with a double action truss rod. And of course, we've got 22 frets. Not quite as much as the uh, Stridum CSD, which has got 24 frets, which is maybe something you might want to note. Um, but uh, overall solid build um, and solid quality. So the Stridum Les Paul guitars come in four beautiful colors. This here is Lemon Drop. Lemon Drop is by far my favorite color. It's absolutely stunning, at least according to me. Um, we've also got one in black, which is nice and simple. Uh, classic uh, black Les Paul shape. Um, after that, we've got Vintage Burst, which is what we've been playing. The Vintage Burst is this color. And finally, we've got Honey Burst, which is sort of a combination between Lemon Drop and Vintage Burst. Um, it's also a very beautiful color, classic Les Paul color, um, but I think they all look gorgeous and I'm sure there's one that one that you like. It comes with two pickups, two humbuckers, but uh, each humbucker can be coil tapped. So uh, this over here is a front humbucker, but if I take this volume knob and just lift it up, it uh, splits the humbucker into a single coil and so you get that classic single coil kind of sound. really good for clean tones um, and so you know since we have a coil tap for the front pickup and we have a coil tap for the back pickup and we have a three-way three pickup selector essentially we can get all sorts of different tones we have front pickup humbucker we have front pickup single coil we have middle pickup with both humbuckers By middle, I mean we use both of these pickups, both the front and the back at the same time. Then we can be in the middle position while having the front one coil tapped. So we have this. And we can have uh, be in the middle position while having the back pickup coil tapped. And so we have... So to be clear, the front is still a humbucker, the back has been coil tapped into a single coil, and we're in the middle position. We can also do this, be in the middle position and have both pickups coil tapped. And so we have this. And then of course, of course we have our back pickup. So we have this. Which is our classic um, humbucker sound. And of course we can coil tap, coil tap our, our back pickup as well. And so we have a single coil in the back. Which is a really nice thin twangy sound, especially for funk, you know. Which is great for that. So we have two volume knobs. This is the volume knob for the front pickup and a tone knob for the front pickup. And then a volume knob for the back pickup and a tone knob for the back pickup. And in that sense, if we are activating both pickups at the same time, we can adjust the volumes between each pickup and the tones between each pickup. 
and so the kind of flexibility is pretty crazy to be honest. Overall, I think this guitar is a great buy for both beginner and intermediate players. Particular uh, players who love to play rock, who love, who always wanted to rock out with a Les Paul style guitar. I know when I was a young player, I was a huge fan of Slash. I mean, I still am, but I was a huge fan of Slash. I always wanted to own a Les Paul shaped guitar. I thought they looked great. <laughs> they also feel great. They play great, of course. Um, and if you're a beginner and just starting out, or even if you're an intermediate player and you want to add another guitar to your collection, maybe a Les Paul style, um, and you really just want to rock out, then you should absolutely consider a uh, Consider the, 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 the Strident Les Paul guitars. Um, I think they're a great, they'd be a great addition to your guitar family, whether you're a beginner or an intermediate player. Okay, so we've gone over the Stridum Les Paul series and the CST series. Um, what are some of the pros? Right off the bat, great value for money. I think for the price you pay, you're getting a solid, good sounding, sturdy, you know, all around great beginner and intermediate series guitars. Um, that's probably the biggest pro and, uh, you know, the biggest plus point. And if you're, if you fall under that demographic of a beginner or intermediate player, it's, it's very important and definitely you should consider uh, looking into these guitars. Um, on top of that, the guitars come with a host of accessories. So if you uh, buy a Les Paul series guitar, you get a cable. Uh, Magna cable, you get an Allen key, of course, you get some nice, uh, nice looking, good quality Magna picks. Uh, you also get a tuner, which is pretty cool, a clip on tuner, uh, that's pretty useful for sure. Uh, a microfiber cloth, which is super important, especially when wiping down your guitar, it's important to use microfiber uh, so that you don't scratch, your, scratch the body. And it all comes in a nice bag for you. If you go opt for the uh, Stridum CST guitars, then you also get you get all of this that I just mentioned, and you also get the tremolo bar uh, along with it. Both guitars, whether you buy the Les Paul or the CST, they both come in this super nice, sleek Magnum X Trident case. It's padded, and I'm sure it'll keep your guitar safe. On the other hand, of course, Magna X Trident is a relatively newer band, brand in India. I understand people's apprehension uh, in investing in a guitar, investing in a new brand that they might not have heard of. Um, however, let the brand name not be a deterrent. Instead, go by quality and sound. Uh, just as a, an example, this is the newer series of Magna X Trident guitars. There was an entire previous line which got sold out. Um, and so there was high demand for it, which is why they released a new line. So clearly it's working for the people who buy it, um, but best way is to try it out for yourself and make an educated decision for yourself. Um, on top of that, I think if you buy a guitar, it does need to be set up. Uh, you know, straight out of a box, it might not be great. You'll have to set the action up. You'll have to make sure it's smooth and playable. Uh, but I think if you buy it from Procraft India, they'll they'll ensure that it's all set up and ready to go. Um, but it's definitely something you need to consider when when buying a guitar. Last but not least, if in the future you want to consider, uh, you know, upgrading a guitar. You might not need to necessarily upgrade the whole guitar, but you could upgrade just the pickups. Uh, the pickups are an integral part to how a guitar sounds. The body is great, it's a mahogany body, it sounds great. If you're happy with playability, you're happy with feel, you can upgrade pickups to higher quality pickups at some point in the future, and you can always get a much better guitar sound uh, with really high quality uh, premium pickups. And so uh, it's a good way to maybe consider buying a great body upgrading pickups and getting a great guitar, sort of hybrid, customizable guitar if you will, um, of your own. Okay, so that wraps up my review of the Stridum Les Paul guitars and the Stridum CST guitars. Hope I did a good enough job in Aditya's absence. Um, let me know in the comments if you have uh, any feedback, if I've missed anything, and also let me know in the comments what you'd like me to review next. And until then, stay tuned for more.